Hey there, YouTube. Wick. Wick. Are you having trouble figuring out how to get your wick just right in your Addy or tank? Well, this video is for you. Here we go. All right, so here we go. We're going to get into this. The, uh, this is just my little J-Bow Indestructible, my little Council Vapor Mini Volt. Love this little dude. But uh, so let's get into it. And get that out of the way. So I don't even know what coils I have in this. Uh, they seem to be uh, clapped in, just a single clapped in. I don't know. That's a typical build for me. Probably on a two and a half millimeter screwdriver. I'm guessing. I don't know. But anyway, so let's get into this. Uh, the, the best way to wick pretty much any coil doesn't matter if it's an RDA or a tank uh, this this is going to be the best way to wick um, and, and we're just wicking the coil itself here so uh, get your your cotton which I use this uh, cotton bacon uh, version 2.0 but um, I just really like this over the matte cotton uh, I know a lot of people use a cogendo or whatever it's called but um, this is nice. It comes in these, like this is a full piece here. This is like a partial piece I've been working on. So we'll start with that. Um, so we'll take the, what we do here is we just, um, I kind of just get all the fuzzies packed in there and then take, uh, you know, take a pinch and you'll get better. It, it just takes practice, but you'll, you'll have to take a pinch and keep trying. You can, on this stuff it's nice because if you have too much you can just pull a little bit off. Um, but if you're doing dual coils then uh, what you can do is grab both ends and I think this is going to be good and twist them. You have to kind of twist them at the same time so that you're not, uh, you're not you, know, you, want, you want to twist both ends at the same time so that you don't uh, twist this part up. You want to keep that as straight as possible. And then we'll take our trusty little skizzers here. Cut it right in the middle. Boop. That gives us two pieces. So now if I, if this is the proper amount, and this is the trick, this is the key to getting a perfect wick, is you, when you pass this through, it should go through easily. But then, and this is the key right here. So when you start pulling this cotton through, it should not pull on those coils at all. It should very easily pull through. It should be a little bit of resistance, but easily pull through. And then when I pull back, see how it's bunching up on that other side a little bit? That's okay. And you're gonna work it back and forth a little bit, just like that. And that's actually, that is perfect. So it can't be really tight because if if you wick it too much, if you pull it through and it's and you see it's like pulling the the coil, like when you pull this um, the wick through, if it's pushing that coil at all, when when you pull that cotton through there, that's too much. And what's going to happen is <clears throat> it'll it'll probably wick okay, but you'll get either a dry hit or burnt hit. But more importantly, when you go to re-wick this and you pull this cotton out, you're going to notice that the center underneath where the coil is is either going to be completely dry or even burned or singed. And the outsides out here will be looking A-OK. -okay. So let's try to get this other wick in here. I don't know why. It's probably just my OCD, but I have to always go the same direction. So let's see if this will go. I'll see. Sometimes when you don't pull it, when you don't tear off, exactly even all the way down you'll get one end that fits and one end that don't so we're going to try to tighten up that there we go and yeah that's perfect too oh see how it was pulling that coil a little bit see that that's probably just a tiny bit too much cotton so we don't we pull it back And see when you move it back and forth like that, it's kind of thinning it out in the middle there. So now when I pull it, it is pulling that coil just a little bit. That's okay though. It feels pretty good when you pull it back and forth. And that's it. <clears throat> now you have the perfect amount of wick through that coil. 
Um, if I were to go ahead and finish wicking this and juice it and, and vape it and everything, when I pulled these back out, it would be completely wet all the way through. And you know how like the ends of your cotton, if you have like a real sugary or sweet juice, it'll turn it brown or black and the quill will get all crunchy and crusty and stuff. The cotton will be the same all the way through. If you had the right amount of cotton, not only that, but you'll get no dry hits, you'll get no gurgling. If you put too, not enough cotton, too little cotton, so like you pull this through and it pulls right through, um, what's gonna happen is it's gonna wick up really, really fast. <clears throat> And the juice is just going to be sitting on the coil and it'll be real gurgly and um, it'll probably pop even a lot more than it normally would. Uh, so yeah, so um, that's it. I mean, that's how you basically get the perfect amount of wick through that coil is, uh, you know, when you when you pull it through, it should, one, it should go right through and two, when you pull back and forth, it should not move the coil at all. It should have a little tiny bit of resistance, but not a bunch just a little bit and that'd be perfect so there you go let's uh let's go on back out to uh see my pretty face hey guys so that's how you get that wick in there just right again i just i can't stress enough you can't can't let that cotton be pulling on that that quill too too much maybe a little bit but if it's um if it's when you pull that that coil through the wick if it's pulling on the moving the coil whoop, moving the coil then uh, it's probably going to be too much cotton in there. I just yank it out and start over. Um, uh, conversely, and I don't know if I said this down down in the close up, but when you pull the wick through, if it just pulls through like with almost no resistance, then that's not enough cotton. Yank it, throw it, chuck it, and start over again. There should be just a little bit of resistance through there, and it shouldn't really pull the coil. Whether it's a spaced coil, doesn't matter what kind of build you have in there. When you pull that cotton through, that's how you know if you have the right amount. It should just have a tiny bit of resistance and not move the coil at all. And then when you move it back and forth, it should bunch up on that one side a little bit, but still be able to pull through there. So uh, it it's definitely, definitely just takes some time and some practice. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's all I got for you guys today without getting too, uh, too long-winded and <clears throat> rambly here. So thanks for watching. Again, CJ with the Street Vape. Uh, if you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Make sure to subscribe. Also, download our Android or download our Android. No, download our app on Android or iPhone, uh, so you can stay up to date with any calls to action. That's all we're really going to send through the notification there. Otherwise, it's just an easy way to get to our website where we post uh, different stuff. So, until the next uh, next one, guys. Keep your vape game strong, and I'll see you in the next one. I already said that. All right. Uh, see you guys later.